No, on your left hand side, you have Muannas, feminine names. Okay? Asmaul Muannas. Okay? What is it, brother? Do you see the difference? That there is no Tanmeen. Why? We got to think. Brother, if there is something there, we got to think and say, why? I also, when I thought, I said, why is it Aminatu and not Aminatun? Then I realized, you know, oh, females are, Allah has blessed them with a lot of beauty. They are all beautiful. Huh? Huh? Men, they are, they are uh, <laughs> rough, uh, plain. Huh? So, in Arabic language, the men's were given tanween, extra decoration. Two feathers, huh? tanween. But ladies are already beautiful. They got a lot of jewelry. They, they, you know, made them some beautify. So the Arabic language gave them one dhamma. One dhamma. You don't need, because you are already very beautiful. So you don't need to. You don't need dressing up. You don't need dressing up. So you, now this is, of course it's not the way it is to be explained. Huh? I, I just joked with you. There's another joke, brother. Men are very strong. They can carry two, than, two dhammas. Sisters are weaker than men. They cannot <coughs> carry two dhammas. <laughs> they can barely handle one dhamma. So that is what it is. One dhamma at the end of a noun of a female. And two dhammas at the end of the noun of a man. But the real reason is, brother, okay, that... Later on we will learn that Aminatu does not decline as Muhammadun. Are you with me? Okay. It does not decline. Normal way. All right. Now I'm sure you are strong. You have understood that dun dan din business. Okay. So we say Muhammadun, Muhammadan. Muhammadin, Khalidun, Khalidan, Khalidin, Hamidun, Hamidan, Hamidin. How about Amina? Aminatu. Next one, Aminata. And next one, Aminata again. It will not take Kasra. <coughs> huh? Even when it is Majroor, Huh, brother? Even if it is Majrur, brother Muhammad, it will still show Fatah. Now, this is something new. I will be repeating it many times. So, inshallah, you will understand it. The thing that you should keep it in mind, two things, brother. Hmm? I'm writing in English first. Later on, we'll switch on to the Arabic. Huh? If the noun, if it declines completely in three cases, uh, which is marfu, mansu, and majrur properly, dun, dhan, then properly, we say it is triptoed. What do we say, brother? Triptoed. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? We say it is triptoed. And then the noun that declines, but not fully, we call it what do you call it? Diptoed. Okay, I'll explain again. Muhammadun Muhammadan, Muhammadin. Complete declension. Are you with me, brother? Marfu, Mansu, Majroor, proper Dhamma, Fatah, and Kasra. Come to Amina. It is Aminatu, Aminata, and again, Aminata. It did not decline fully. It declined a little bit and stopped. Are you with me, brother? Aminatu, Aminata, 
And again, Aminata. So we call it Diptot. Okay? These are the terms which the Western scholars of Orientals, Western scholars of Arabic, they have given from English language point of view. That this noun is, if I say the noun is triptot, it means it declines fully. Are you with me? Kitabun, kitaban, kita bin, bin. Bun, ban, bin. Are you with me? But when you come to Zainabu, Zainaba, and again, Zainaba again. Why? Because the noun is Diptot. Are you with me? That's just Abir? Okay. I had a very big class, and you know, in sometimes a big class, there's a lot of di- disturbance, and uh, people sometimes uh, are dis- disturbed, and they do not listen properly, they don't understand. I was explaining this. Then the brother raised his hand, and I said, he said, Brother Asif, could you please tell me what is this tip top? I said, brother, this is not a tip top tailor here. <laughs> it is trip tot. It's not tip top, but it is trip tot. Huh? You know, he, he somehow got the idea that I was saying the nouns are tip top. <laughs> anyway, I thought it was very cute, you know. Anyway, so when it is trip tot, brother and sister, it means it declines fully. Dun dan din. And when it is dip tot, it goes to dun, then dan, then stays at a dan. But we will still call it majroor. And that we will learn soon, inshallah. Huh? Okay, we'll learn soon, inshallah. So, brother, are you, are you now familiar with these two columns? Uh, Sister Salma, they are clear. Sister Abir. Sister Naima, Sister Mamuna, is it clear, inshallah? Brother uh, Farooq, clear? Abdul Qadir, inshallah. Hmm? See, we always say Aisha, we have a sister Aisha. But then she is Aisha too. Are you with me? She is Aisha too. We have sister Fatima. But when you write it, it is Fatima too. But again, they, both of them are Diptot. Okay? They are both Diptot. Okay? Fine. Now, we come to yeah, Ikra Vaktub. Huh? Read and write by putting proper vowel signs at the end. Number one, brother. Hamidun. Hamidun. Number two. Zainabu. We cannot say Bun. That would be wrong. Huh? Next one. Aminatu. Next one. Ammarun. Ammarun. Next one, brother. Sa'idun. Okay. And then? Fatimatu. And then? Maryamu. Very good. Not Mun. Mu. Next one, brother. Alijun. And? Khalidun. And? Abbasun. See, there is a Shadda. On ba, it's not written, but then we get used to it. Abbas, what is it? Abbasun. Okay. Next one, brothers. Aisha tu. Sisters. Muhammad dun. Okay. Next one. Safiya tu. Next one. Hadija tu. Masha. Is it clear, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. One is, uh, one is triptot. And one is Diptot. You will remember that. Some names, you know, are feminine and they don't have Tamil. But we will, inshallah, remember it. When you say Maryam, it's a name of a girl. When you say Zainab, it's a name of a girl. Okay? Like that. Brother. So, but most of the time, you will see Tamar Buta. Or... Later on, we will go and learn that they can end with Alif Maksura. Huh? They can end with Alif Maksura. All these things we are going to learn slowly, slowly. 